Good evening. Thank you for joining us. First on News 2 at 6 o'clock, the person who sparked a police chase that reached more than 100 miles per hour this morning is still not in custody. This happened in Tangipo Parish on I-55. News 2's David Hamilton found out that search started on the roads but ended up in the water. That's right, Sylvia. The chase took officers from the car to the river and on foot all in over a couple hours. And although the pursuit did go through water, the search overall ended up dry. It was an unusual sight for drivers on I-55 Wednesday morning after troopers say a person jumped off the I-55 bridge near Manchick in Tangipahoa Parish. We were told that the driver was being chased by state police after refusing to pull over for a traffic violation just south of Manchick. The suspect reached speeds up to 110 miles per hour before pulling over, abandoning his car on the bridge and jumping into the water. Troopers say that he then climbed onto a nearby train tracks and ran into the woods. And all of a sudden, there was a state trooper that came in, and she said that someone jumped off the bridge, and she didn't say anything else to us. And so we've just been waiting to hear things. And then we saw a little bit of police come by, and then we saw a helicopter. We didn't know what it was for, though. A helicopter, <clears throat> a helicopter was even brought in to help with the search, but it was eventually called off when they couldn't locate the driver. Workers at Middendorf's watched the action throughout the day and are concerned that he has not yet been caught. Everybody's going back and forth. They're all in their cars all day, but I have to be here all day and leave tonight not knowing whether he's caught or not. I haven't gotten like any updates, no description of what he's wearing. It just kind of makes me nervous to leave tonight. Troopers have impounded the vehicle but did not release the name of the suspect or elaborate who owned the vehicle.